Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be sharing my profile and my journey to my admit at the University of Pennsylvania for the Masters in Mechanical Engineering with a focus on robotics program. Okay, So we're going to be starting a new series on this channel where I'm going to be inviting people, um, like inviting students who have gotten into like awesome universities or, or have had you know unique journeys in their application so that you guys understand you know what the whole application journey is going to be like and more importantly so that you know these students share their admit profiles so that you guys understand where your profile stands in terms of you know your chances of getting into that university whether you have a weaker or stronger profile okay so i wouldn't ask any of my guests to do anything that i wouldn't do myself so in this video i'm going to be sharing my profile my journey and then i'm going to end it with some tips that i have for you guys when you're applying to college okay so let's get started so my profile goes like this. I have a bachelor's in mechanical engineering from Amrita University, Bangalore. I have a CGPA of like 9.87 and I was a gold medalist. And besides that, I have a GRE score of 340, so 170 quant, 170 verbal and 5.0 AWA. I also had a 116 in my TOEFL. Besides that, I also had two years of work experience at the time of application as an R&D engineer at Dassault Systems. And besides that, I also had like two internships, but the internships were like, it's like nothing to talk about, so I'm not gonna mention it here. And I had one research paper at an international conference. This was, it wasn't exactly robotics based. It was like something sort of like, you know, computer science plus mechanical engineering, like a little bit of like a combination. Besides that, I also had a six month certification in robotics from Coursera, like from Northwestern University. And on top of that, for extracurricular activities, I was also the secretary of the Industrial Automation Club at, you know, at my college. And I was also like an executive member of the press club. And finally, I also had like one award from Dosa Systems. It was just like, you know, an award they gave for like new coming members who were like, pretty, like pretty good at their job and stuff. Okay. So I decided to apply to grad school like, like six to eight months after I graduated. And I wasn't really sure in what or where I would go. But I knew that, you know, I had gained a lot of new skills through my, through my job. You know, they taught me like a lot of computer science and all that. And I really enjoyed working on that. So I wanted to do some more in the same field. So I contacted a professor and then we were able to, you know, do some projects and publish a paper using computer science and, you know, some mechanical engineering concepts. So I really enjoyed doing that. And I realized that, you know, I want my career to be in computer science and mechanical engineering, like a combination of the two. So as I was looking for, you know, areas to apply, that's how I came across robotics. So to decide, you know, whether robotics was really for me, I decided to take that six month certification through Coursera and I really enjoyed it. And I was like, you know what? Okay, I'm going to go apply for robotics. So that was my journey to apply for like a robotics program. I ended up applying to six universities, which was like, you know, two dream, three match and then one safe. So my two dream universities were MIT and Stanford. And, you know, I got rejected from both of them. And my three match universities were um, University of Michigan, University of Pennsylvania and Carnegie Mellon. So I got rejected by Carnegie, sorry, I got rejected by University of Michigan, which was really surprising. But I got into UPenn, Carnegie Mellon, and my other safety university, which was Purdue University. So I got into all three. Now I had to make a choice between these three and I ended up choosing University of Pennsylvania. So I was sort of torn between the UPenn and Carnegie Mellon. Purdue, like they came really late, so I wasn't even considering Purdue. I had already gotten these two admits. So I had to choose between UPenn and Carnegie Mellon and I made that choice based on the courses that they offered. So I saw that you know, Carnegie Mellon had the better program for robotics. However, I wasn't just interested in robotics research. I also wanted, you know, kind of like an entrepreneurship knowledge kind of thing, okay? So I saw that, you know, UPenn had a lot of, you know, entrepreneurship related programs, or sorry, related courses, which was what made me apply there in the first place. So when I compared UPenn and Carnegie Mellon, in terms of robotics, yes, Carnegie Mellon was better. But in terms of entrepreneurship and you know, business courses, UPenn was better. And UPenn also was you know, pretty solid in robotics as well. So that's how I ended up choosing UPenn for my grad school. I have just two tips for you guys when you're applying to college. The first thing is to show your commitment, right? I have a lot of students you know, that I coach and I have a lot of students whose SOPs that I read. And it's clear to me that you know, they don't really care about what stream that they're going into. They just sort of figured it out at the last moment. But grad school is sort of like a long process, right? So don't just apply, don't just like apply in the last minute. Take a couple months, figure out what are the streams that are possible for you to specialize in, figure out which schools are the best in those streams, which ones have the, you know, the coolest programs or the programs that are best fit to you. Take your time. Once you figure out the kind of stream or the university that you want to go into, show your commitment by doing online courses or, you know, independent projects. I also, you know, contacted like a bunch of students at these universities to, you know, show my commitment towards, you know, studying at that university. So yeah, just basically show your commitment towards what you're doing. And the second tip is to just have fun, right? So I remember that applying to college, while it was stressful, it was like an extremely fun process because you know, you get to go to like a bunch of university websites and learn more about the cool programs and all the things that they teach. And you could see like all the cool facilities that the university offers. And like the whole process is like super fun. So I would say, you know, like try to like enjoy the process and you only get to do it once. So might as well make the most of it. 
And that's it for this video. Hope you guys learned something from my profile and my journey. This is gonna be the first video in this series. I'm gonna be inviting new students to talk about their student journeys and so on. So if you wanna catch more of that, make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video if it helped you out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.